festival and my festival agent for the day. What's this? This is my experiment on energy transfer between two systems. Can I demonstrate? Sure. So first, I will, I will put, I will put two objects here like that, and they are hung by strings of equal length on this string here. So first, I will take this object, we'll call it object A, and I will swing it. And this object, we can call it object B. As we can see over time, it will start to swing as well, while object A stops. And after some more time, we will see that object B will stop, while object A starts to swing again. Oh. But what does it happen? Oh, okay, that's a good question. Well, this actually happens because when I swing object A, it contains energy and what's energy? I know, I know. Energy is the ability to do work. It's neither created nor destroyed That's and not. can be converted from one form to another, correct? Yeah, so now that we know what energy is, when I swing object A, it possesses a certain type of energy called kinetic energy. And this energy is transferred across to B. Right, it starts to swing again and and the process goes on so this actually occurs because of something known as energy transfer or energy exchange or energy exchange and energy transfer or energy exchange exchange occurs because of the energy that travels across between two different systems why does it occur when does it occur well, it actually occurs because when there are two different systems, energy has to move along between them. So, as in this experiment, the energy moves from object A to object B. And energy transfer and exchange occurs when there are two systems aligned. And it increases the energy content in the second system, as in B when it moves away and decreases the energy content in the first system, object A. Oh. Yeah. Hold on, I have a hypothesis. Is it? That is, if the difference in length between the two objects affect the energy transfer and the time it, that the energy takes to be transferred over to the other object. Are you sure about that? Of course. May I try? For this experiment, I'll be using three different lengths to conduct the experiment. 60 cm, 30 cm, and 15 cm. I'll start with the 60 cm first. We'll record the time and to see when object B starts to swing faster than object A. Go. Well, at 60 cm, it seems that the energy does not transfer enough over to B for the object to, for object B to go faster than A. Now, I'll try the 30 cm distance. As you can see, now the distance between A and B is 30 cm. And go. It only took 9 seconds for object B to swing faster than object A. Now for 15 cm. For 15 cm, it only took 5 seconds for object B to sing faster than object A. From this, we can conclude that the, the shorter the distance between the two objects, the faster energy gets transferred from the swinging object to the object that is not swinging. Wait, 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 wait. But why does the distance between the two objects affect the energy transfer between them? Obviously, it's because the longer the distance between our two systems, the longer it takes for energy to transfer from A to B, it's because 
faster than G will be lost to our surroundings and will take a longer time to travel across the longer distance from A to B. That's right. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Hmm. Well, this has been a great experiment, don't you think? Yeah, whatever. Oh, okay. Well, you think it was a great experiment? Yes, of course it was. It clearly demonstrated how distance affects the energy being transferred over and how energy will affect an object which is also on the same string. Yeah, and it's an experiment clearly to show the presentation of energy transfers across two systems. Thank you.